Hi there, welcome to Create with Copper. These videos show you techniques and tutorials for making jewellery, so don't forget to subscribe for more. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make simple bead caps for your jewellery projects. Bead caps are generally used to embellish beads, whether stringing them together or linking them with eye pins and head pins. They can frame them and help it stand out. But bead caps can also be used as end caps for work such as my unisex bangle. In this video, I'll take you through the three steps, cutting, drilling and shaping, to make plain bead caps. If you wanted to add a design, you could etch it into the copper, and I'd do this before shaping. The only material you need for this is some copper sheet, and it needs to be thick enough to hold its shape. In this video, I'm going to use some 0.6mm and some 0.9mm thick sheet. The tools you need are a disc cutter, a hammer, a brass mallet is perfect if you've got one, a permanent pen, a centre punch, drill, file and dapping block and punches. So I've got my disc cutter here and I've taken all the pins out apart from the one I want to use. So I'll just take the pin out for now and then I can position my copper in the centre and I just want to make sure that there isn't any edges showing so within the circle it's all copper and no black. And this is the 0.9mm thick copper I'm using at the moment. I'll then replace the pin and I'm just going to need to hammer that a few times. I tend to hold on to the pin to start with just to stop everything jumping around. And then I'll give it some fairly heavy hammer blows. And you'll feel the copper give underneath once it starts cutting through. Then I'll continue hammering that pin down. And you'll see that it's gone right the way through the block. And my copper disc's just sitting on the end of it there. So I'll take that off. But now my copper's trapped. So I just need to continue hammering on that pin to take it right the way through. I should just be able to grab onto that. And then you can remove the sheet. Now for the 0.6mm thick sheet, I'm just going to use an off cut from a previous project. And I'm going to cut the smallest disc here. So I'll put the pin in in exactly the same way. And you'll find the thinner sheets a bit easier to get through. And there's the disc. Now most of the time when I'm cutting these discs, they cut through really quite cleanly. But if you do get any burrs like there is on this one, you can just file that off at this stage. And I just want to make a nice smooth edge to the disc. We then need to drill a hole in the centre of each of the discs. And I start by marking the centre with a permanent pen. Try to make a smaller dot as possible and then if it's a bit off centre I can enlarge it until it looks central. And I just judge this by eye. I can then position my centre punch on that mark make sure it's lined up properly and then hammer the punch a couple of times to make a divot in the disc. This will stop the drill skidding over the disc when I'm making the hole. Now the difficulty with drilling these holes is that the discs are a bit too small to hold on to so I've lined them up on a couple of pieces of duct tape position them so where I'm drilling the holes isn't going to be through the tape so I don't have to worry about the glue gumming up the drill and I'm just folding over the edges so the tape holds the top of the discs as well and I've got something to hold on to and then holding my drill vertically I can just drill each of those holes
and then the drilled discs will just peel off the tape. Now you'll probably find a burr on the underside of the disc where the drills push the metal through. So I'll just file that off so the discs are smooth. So we're now ready to shape the bead caps by doming the discs. I've got my dapping block here and I'm starting with one of the largest discs and putting that in one of the larger holes. And I'll use my largest dapping punch and hammer several times. I find in the larger holes the disc does move around quite a lot so you need to check that it's evenly domed. And then I'll move to the slightly smaller hole and do the same. And I'll just keep moving down the sizes on the dapping block and switching to a smaller dapping punch as necessary. and you just carry on until you've got the dome that you want. I'm going to leave these fairly shallow. For the smaller discs it's exactly the same process but I can start in a smaller hole. And I'm going to dome this one as much as I can. But only go as far as the disc will fit into the holes or you'll get a ridge around the side. And here's how the completed bead cap looks. So just to show how to use these bead caps in a standard way, I've got an eye pin here, a couple of the bead caps and a bead. So I'll thread one of the bead caps onto the eye pin, dome out, thread on the bead and then the other bead cap. Trim the eye pin and then holding the bead caps tight against the bead I'll make a bend in that eye pin and create the loop. And that's how the bead caps will look against the bead. I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please press the like button below. Don't forget, you can subscribe to my channel and head over to my website for more hints, tips and projects. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.